Hello and welcome to the special meeting of Friday, July 21st, 2020. It is 6 p.m. Ms. Traska, will you please call the roll? Today is July 31st. I'm sorry. I misread my paper. Friday, July 31st, 2020, 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, Ms. Brandt? Here. And Mr. Finley? Here. Mr. Garvis? Here. Ms. Tully? Here. And Mr. Ventura? Here. Okay, we have one item on the agenda tonight. It's Ordinance 47, 2020. Mr. May, I'd like to first of all wait the 48 hour rule for Ordinance 47 2020. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, okay, now I'd like to offer Ordinance 47 2020 for its first, second, and third reading by title only, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Amanda, you want to read it? Sorry, I had to unmute myself. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm having to switch between screens. Okay. A resolution submitting the question of the renewal of an existing 5.07 mill tax levy for the purpose of current expenses pursuant to Ohio Revised Code sections 5705.19a and 57.05191 and declaring an emergency. Before we move forward, I'm going to ask Director Gadetti to give an explanation of why we're here tonight presenting this. So we're here tonight, as council may recall, in May, uh, we passed uh, an ordinance to, or I should say a resolution to get the tax estimates uh, from the county for this levy renewal. The county provided that information to us. Uh, we had a minor amendment in June, and now this piece of legislation places the 5.07 mil uh, levy renewal on the ballot. This is something that the city has done um, a number of time over, over uh, time. And I think uh, Finance Director Veras probably has the specifics, but you can see in the fourth whereas clause, we have the general valuation of the city and the amount of funds that would be generated. Thank you. Mr. Veras, can you uh, add anything to that, please? Just that it's, um Every five years we have to do this and it's for operating expenses um, and collect about 600,000 a year, uh, depending on you know, property tax payments. And, um, you know, that's all I can add really. Well, I, I would also add that this is, this is not an increase. This is, uh, um, a renewal of the tax dollars that, uh, especially with the coronavirus and, and the state of the, the country right now, we definitely uh, need these dollars to, to keep the city afloat. Um, w without this, this could be detrimental to us moving forward, and especially in terms of our staff, uh, it would definitely have an impact. But key thing here again is this is a renewal. This is not an increase of any sort, and that's that's why we're here tonight. Also, Mayor, um, the language states 5.07 mills, and the effective millage currently is in the 2.3-ish range, so um, it, we'll have to do some education to let the public know that, you know, the 5.07, because based upon their fair market value of their house, if they're doing their own calculations, they're going to calculate something incorrect, incorrectly. And can you explain, or perhaps Director Gadetti explain a little bit more as to why that that disparity is there? I guess a perceived disparity is there. It it's quite simply the max potential millage, um, and I think that's why we've always had that language going on the ballot. So this the ballot language proposed on page two of this resolution is the same that's always gone up. 
at his fellow region. So in order, to, and also in order to, since it's such an old piece that just keeps getting renewed, the valuation way back in, I don't know, 1960s when it was first passed, it was lower in the city. So it gener it's supposed to generate a specific dollar amount or close to that every year. So as the valuation goes up, the effective millage goes down. So essentially, this is an operating levy that began back in the 60s and nothing has changed with it. Is that a fair uh, statement to make? Yeah, the millage hasn't changed at all. Okay. But what's important to note is the millage doesn't change, but the valuation of her house may have gone up. Therefore, yes, you may see a slight increase in taxes, but it's not based on the millage. It's based on when the county reevaluates your property. Yeah, and it's not based on the 5.07 mills that's listed in the language. It's based on the effective millage at the time. Right. And just as a reminder to point this out to residents, this is just um, for us to get this on the ballot. We are not renewing it without a vote. And so tonight we are here to vote to get it on the ballot in November, and we have to have this done by uh, by next week in order to get it on the ballot. So that's why we're having a special meeting. And just in case anyone is confused, this is just to put it on the ballot, not to actually pass uh, any ordinance that keeps renews or doesn't renew your tax, your property tax. Thanks, Beth. I was going to say that when I offered it to be passed. Thanks. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, what is your pleasure? I move that we pass and post according to law resolution number 47 2020, please. Second. Roll call, please. Ms. Brandt? Yes. Mr. Finley? No. Mr. Garvis? Yes. Ms. Tully? Yes. And Mr. Ventura? Yes. Ordinance 47 2020 passes. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thanks, all. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Have a good evening. Thank you enjoy. Good, good, good evening. Good weekend.